everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to download file links onto your Amazon Fire TV stick and in the interim of the video I will be giving you our code to our file link store so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your search icon on the top left hand corner of your screen and you're going to type downloader as you can see as I begin to type it appears at the bottom I'm going to select it once you have selected it the uh, the app will appear on your screen you're going to click on the app and underneath it you're going to have the option to download it and you're going to go ahead and download it and when you're done you're going to open it once you have open downloader it is going to send you to what looks like a browser. You're going to click allow. Okay. And then you're going to go up to the search bar. In the search bar, you are going to type in file linked.com and then you're going to select go. This is going to take you straight to the FileLink website so that you can download their application. So you see the selector right here, it's a little red circle. Okay, you're going to take it and you're going to go down to Download File Linked. When you have done that, it's going to give you the option to install. Okay, you're going to go down and over and you're going to select install. And when that is done installing, you're going to select open. Okay, and that should take you directly into the file link store itself. So once you're in the store, you're going to enter our code, which is 14558645. And you're going to select continue. When you go in, a box is going, a dialog box is going to appear. You're going to click dismiss. Give it a few more seconds. And you're going to have another box appear. And you're also going to dismiss that one. Okay, there you go. Now, we have a wide range of movie APKs that you are free to download. And as you go down the list, you're going to see the icons appear. And it's just taking its time to load everything for you. Well, I'm going to go back up and I am going to download mm, BTV. Does not mean that you have to download it. It is just an example of how to download the APKs from our filing store. So you're going to click on that arrow that's on the side and it's going to download. Then you're going to select what looks like the play button. And that is going to send you to the app installer, which will give you the option to install it. And that's what you will do. 
So you're going to click down and over and you're going to install it. And you're going to select open. Now once you go in, you're going to select allow. And it's going to ask you to update a new version of the BTV APK, and that's what you will do. You will select Update, and you'll give it a minute to update. Depending on your bandwidth, it may take a little longer than mine is, or maybe faster than mine. Okay, and you're going to select Down and Over, and you're going to click Install. Then you're going to go down and over and you're going to select open. Now the wonderful thing about this is it asks you to install a new update. So what the stick will automatically do is ask you to uninstall the old version so that there's no confusion. So you're going to select allow and internal player so that you can move on. And it's going to ask you to uninstall and yes, it will uninstall it for you. So that you don't have two versions sitting in your managed applications or taking up any space on your stick. You're going to select, oh, sorry. You're going to select English. Okay, you're going to select English for your language's subtitles. And now we're in the application. Now, what you do from here is you're going to go over to the hamburger menu. And there you have the choice of either going looking for TV shows, movies, HD releases, anime, the choice is up to you. I'm going to go to movies. Next to that, you can choose whether you want to see trending, popular, top rated, now playing. I'm going to select popular. Then I'm going to go down to Deep Blue C3, and I'm going to select that movie. Now, when you go in, the overview gives you a synopsis of the movie. You also have the option of watching a trailer before you watch the movie, or to just go on ahead and watch the movie, so you would select Play. Now, if you give it a few seconds... You're going to see a few links up here. Once again, all depending on your bandwidth, um, it might take a little while. Or if you have excellent um, bandwidth, it could take a matter of a few seconds. So mine are starting to come in. You're going to have a few options as far as quality. You're going to have high quality. Um, you might even end up having some high definition links uh 720 1080 i'm going to choose 1080 for mine now from what you can see on the right top corner i have 144 links to choose from i'm gonna make it easy and just stick to 
the first 1080 option I see. There we go. And I'm going to press play. Now, I'm going to let it play for a few seconds so that you could just see the quality that this movie comes in. Um, and then I'm going to exit. When you select the movie, you might see an ad pop up. You may not. If you do, no worries about that. Um, once the movie begins, it'll just disappear. And that quality is amazing. That's beautiful. I'm going to exit the player now. And uh, to get rid of this ad, you're just going to press the back arrow on your remote and it gets rid of it. Okay.